Greetings gardening friends. Today I'm going to be planting some colchicums. It's August 22nd, so it's a great time to be doing this. The bulbs are just starting to send up their flower blooms. You can see the tube there. So I've got three here. This is World Champions Cup. For a little size comparison, there's my 12 inch trowel and I'll put one in my hand so you can see colchicum bulbs are large. Uh, this one's in really nice shape. The outer skin is on it and then you can feel here where the bloom will be coming up on these tubes. So here's one you can see that might even have two blooms coming up. So colchicums are dormant in July and August. And then some of these will start blooming the end of August into September, October, and possibly even November. So to get going here, I've prepared a spot in this border and I've decided I'm going to put the culture combs about a foot in from the edge of the border. I've weeded it thoroughly here. Uh, usually there's bark, mulch. I have other spring blooming bulbs in front of this uh, boulder here. And this bed's gonna be transitioning again. I put pink buckwheat in this year is a experiment. I'm not sure if I like it. It gets a little wild. Petunias do not do as well as they usually do, but what I'm going to do, because this is a nice southern exposure, I'm going to eventually, I think, edge this in colchicums. So I bought three of this World's Champions Cup. They're going to go in front of this boulder. And then I've got three more that will go on the other side of it. And I'm gonna get started on digging the holes for them. All right, so I've dug my holes. They are pretty deep because these are big bulbs. So I use my trowel as my measure. So they're at least, they're about six to eight inches deep. I put the bulbs a foot apart so they have room to expand and grow. And along the way, I did dig up <clears throat> some bulbs that I've had in there. There's some uh, crocus and a little tulip. And then in this, one of these holes out here, there's uh, tulip bulbs right here. And again, I uncovered some of the crocus that are in here. So I'm gonna put them back in the hole on top of the colchicums once I fill these in. So since they're, the flowers aren't blooming yet, I'm just going to fill the holes back in, make sure it's well like, around the bulb, plop the crocus back in there. Hopefully the chipmunks and the squirrels don't find them. Get him out of there. And then with the colchicums, I do like to mark where they are because they're dormant part of the season. So colchicums are cool. They bloom in the fall. So these will be blooming in a couple of weeks, hopefully. And then the leaves actually come up in the spring. So you'll have these sturdy leaves pop up in the spring the leaves die back oh by mid-june usually so then from june until they bloom you aren't exactly sure where your culture comes are so i do like to just put a marker there so that i know that they're there and I'm going to put 
the crocus back, cover these up. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is water them in. So they get a good drink. Actually, I was surprised. The soil's not dry all the way down. I was afraid it would be because we've had some dry weather. So if we don't get some rain, I'll water the bulbs like once a week because now they're going to be starting growing their roots. So they need good moisture while they're growing their roots. And we'll have some beautiful fall blooms in a couple of weeks. All right, so colchicums, highly suggest you look for them. Pretty much online is the best way to get them. Usually I order them in June and July and they get shipped in August and early September. So a nice surprise for your fall garden if you're looking for some more color and something good for the, the front of the border. All right, have a great day.